A while back, I became really interested in morel mushroom hunting. Morels are considered a delicacy because of both their flavor and their rarity, and I realized I wanted in on this. The problem is, I'm sort of terrible at mushroom hunting. Morels are small and are practically the same color as the forest floor they're found on. And being that my eyes are, to quote my ophthalmologist, bad, I tend to have some difficulty with conventional morale hunting. But recently I started learning about some methods that people use to cultivate their very own morale mushrooms right in their own yards. Now, morels are notoriously difficult to grow in any sort of predictable or consistent way. It's why there's not really any sort of commercial morale industry. They require a very particular type of place, temperature, and moisture level to grow. And even with all those things, it can still be anyone's guess if a single morale will decide to grace us with its presence. But there's some things you can do to recreate some of the conditions that are hospitable to morales. And then with the help of a morale spawn kit, I can create a morale spawn bed that will hopefully turn into my very own morale mushroom patch for years to come. One more thing before we get into it. I'll mention that I really hate to make a video that requires a part two. Uh, that is a video that shows the building or preparation of something, but without showing the results, the end product. But for this one, it's just not prudent to simply jump ahead in time at the end of this video and show you the end result for two reasons. One, if this works, it's going to be at least a year before I have a single mushroom, but it may be two or more years. And two, that's if it works. There are no guarantees in life, love, or morale growing. Anyway, enough of the preamble. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my very own morale mushroom patch right here on my property. The first thing I have to do is find a decent spot for my morale patch. Obviously for this to work, you pretty much need to live in a geographic location that already has naturally occurring morales. Michigan is big time morale country, so I've got that covered. I want to pick somewhere that is mostly shaded and not too wet, not too dry. This spot in the corner of my yard where the lawn meets the woods seems like a good place. This area gets pretty wet during the spring thaw, but most of the year it's pretty dry and the sun only hits this area for a short time each day. Being that this is the wet time right now, it was a bit muddy back here, but I'm not going to let that hold me up. After identifying the roughly four by four foot area that will become my mushroom patch, I got started by removing the top layer of grass and weeds from this ground. I decided to loosely frame in the area with some spare bricks, mostly just as a guide while I'm building this, but also to help kinda keep my substrate mixture in place. Now let's talk for a quick minute about the morale growing method I'm going to be using. There are two interesting ways I've seen people use to cultivate their own morels. One is a morel slurry. This is a really neat way of taking a few fresh morels and turning it into millions or billions of morel spores, which you can basically pour all over your yard. You can really take a shotgun approach with the potential for a lot of morels all over your property. The problem is I don't have any fresh morels to start with, so I'm going to go with the second method and that's creating a morale bed using a spawn kit that I have purchased. This is a bit more of a targeted approach, but if my four by four foot bed successfully starts growing morales, those morales can shed spores all over the place and still potentially turn my property into mushroom city. Besides for the location, the most important aspect of my morale bed is the substrate I put down. I'm not just slapping down some topsoil for this. I want to create a mixture that will be the most hospitable to these morale spores. So for my 4x4 four four foot area, I'm combining 10 gallons of sphagnum peat moss, 1 gallon of garden gypsum, and about 2.5 gallons of wood ash. Morales seem to love ash, and in fact, some of the biggest hotspots for morale hunting are burn areas and forests. So I saved up a bunch of ash from my bonfire pit and ended up with about half a five gallon bucket. If I had more, I definitely would have added up to an entire bucket of ash to my mixture. I'll mix that all together very well, and now I just have to spread my mixture out over the prepared area. 
Now it's time to add the Morale Spawn. There's a bunch of different small businesses that sell Morale Spawn Kits online. I bought mine from North Spore, which seems to be one of the bigger operations in the mushroom cultivation world. This five pound bag of Morale Spawn was $25. These spawn kits generally consist of sawdust or some other material that has been loaded up with mushroom cultures. There are potentially billions of morale spores in this bag. A kit this size is recommended for about a 4x4 four four foot area, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'll sprinkle and spread this spawn mix over the top of my bed as evenly as possible, and then very lightly rake it in to the top layer of that substrate. Lastly, I'll cover the entire thing with wood chip mulch and then give the area one good soaking with water. And that's it. From everything I've read and learned, there's not really much more I can do to give my little mushroom patch the best chance for producing some morales come next spring. I'll certainly be doing a follow-up to this video, hopefully when some beautiful morale mushrooms start popping up back there. And once I can get my hands on some fresh morales, I also intend to make a video about the morale slurry I mentioned earlier. As for right now, that's about it. I just have to let time and nature take it from here. And by the way, if you want to see the morale spawn kit that I used, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date with all our latest stuff, including future mushroom videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping.